once you have started AutoCAD and have either started a new drawing or opened an existing drawing, you will see the AutoCAD application window. Take some time to become familiar with how this window is organized. Across the top of the window are a number of components. Starting in the upper left corner, the big red A is known as the application menu. You can click this button to expand the application menu and then use tools in the menu to search for commands as well as use tools in the menu to create, open, and publish a file. To the right of the application menu is the Quick Access Toolbar. This customizable toolbar displays frequently used tools. The Program Title Bar occupies the center of the window. When the current drawing is maximized, you also see the drawing name in the title bar. To the right of the Program Title Bar, in the upper right corner of the window, you see the Info Center Toolbar. This toolbar contains tools you can use to search for help, sign into Autodesk 360 to access online services, launch the Autodesk Exchange app's website, access product updates, connect with the AutoCAD community online, download language packs, and so on. Below all of these tools is the ribbon. The ribbon, which extends across the entire window, just above the drawing area, is a rectangular area containing task-based tools and controls. Below the ribbon are file tabs. These provide a fast and visual way to switch between open drawings or create new ones. Although you can turn off the file tabs if you do not want to use them, when file tabs are turned on, a tab for each open drawing is displayed at the top of the drawing area. The largest area in the middle of the window is the drawing area, and within this drawing area are various viewport controls. For example, in the upper left corner of the viewport are three controls that enable you to change viewport settings, select from a list of pre-configured and customized views, and change the visual style that in turn controls how objects are displayed within the viewport. In the upper right corner of the viewport are tools for minimizing, restoring, and closing the current viewport. Below this is the view cube a very handy tool for controlling the orientation of 3D views. Note that the view cube can be relocated to other positions within the viewport. Below the view cube, along the right side of the viewport, is the navigation bar. You can use tools in the navigation bar to access all of the drawing navigation tools, such as the steering wheels, pan, zoom, 3D orbit, and so on. In the lower left corner of the viewport is the UCS icon, which displays positive directions of the X, Y, and Z axes. In the lower left corner of the window are the Model and Layout tabs. You work in Model Space when creating actual geometry and switch to one of the paper space layouts to produce sheets of paper on which you will print or plot your work. In the lower right corner of the window is the status bar, which contains an assortment of tools for controlling various drawing aids, such as grid display, snap mode, and polar tracking, as well as tools for toggling between model space and paper space, choosing the desired annotation scale, switching workspaces, and so on. You can customize the status bar to control which tools are visible. Just above the Model and Layout tabs and the Status Bar is the Command Window. This window displays commands, system variables, options, messages, and prompts, and you can start commands by typing the command name or provide input to the current command by typing in this window. Note that the Command Window initially appears anchored at the bottom of the drawing window, but it can be floated, resized, docked, or even closed.